Today's article titled, Ireland's People Send Donations to Native Americans Return Great Famine Favor. And it's a picture of what looks to be people dressed in traditional Irish clothing or just modern day clothing and then traditional Native American clothing. And they're in a circle, so maybe they're dancing. Um, the caption for this image says, Chief Gary Batten who's all the way on the left, so that must be him here, uh, leads the Choctaw and Irish dancers in the traditional Choctaw snake dance at the June 2017 dedication ceremony for sculptured kindred spirits in Balick Park in Middleton County, Cork, Ireland. So these are Choctaw Native Americans in Ireland dancing with the Irish. And this title makes me wonder what it means. <laughs> we'll have to understand what a famine is and particularly the Great Famine, which is capitalized, we know it was a real historical event, to understand what it means for Irish people to send donations to Native Americans and return the Great Famine favor. So I hope this article will explain the Great Famine to us. Let's read and find out. All right. To the Irish people, repaying an old act of kindness matters. More than 100 years have passed. They want to pay back the generosity shown to them. They are giving money to Native American communities fighting the coronavirus pandemic. It is to repay what one tribe gave to Ireland years ago. So Native Americans are fighting um, the coronavirus pandemic. Um, I just read an article actually separate from this one in the New York Times yesterday saying the Navajo Nation has the highest rates of coronavirus of any people in America, any state or Native American nation in the whole country. And so the Irish are trying to help them by donating money. So, oh good, the next section is called the Great Famine. So we'll learn about the Great Famine here in this section. In 1847, members of the Choctaw Nation provided $170 of relief aid to the Irish during the Great Famine. The amount would equal about $5,000 today. This came not long after thousands of Native Americans died from starvation and disease on the Trail of Tears. They were being forced to move west. The famine happened in Ireland from 1845 to 1849 when the potato crop failed. Many people in Ireland then depended on potatoes for food. A disease was killing potato plants. So there's a lot here in this paragraph um, that they're making reference to. So when the Choctaw Nation was moved off of their lands in the south and moved to the west, um, they were led by the American military in what was called the Trail of Tears, and being forced to leave their home and move a thousand miles away. That's what that refers to. A famine isn't defined here, but a famine is when a great number of people go hungry and starve because crops fail or because of something else, usually crops failing. And so in this case, the Irish famine um, happened because the potato crop failed. The potatoes were one of their staple foods, their most important foods. And so the Choctaw Nation, even though they had just um, gone through their own very difficult time and being kicked off their own land, decided to be kind and donate money to help the, uh, the Irish who were going through their own hard time just a couple of years later, or really at the same time. All right, next section is called Trail of Tears. Oh, good, let's learn more about that. So I guess the authors, the authors of this article are probably assuming that you don't know what the Trail of Tears are, and so this section explains that. In the United States, the Trail of Tears was the forced relocation of Native Americans from the southeast region of the United States. It happened during the 1830s. The move included Choctaw, Cherokee Creek, Chickasaw, and other nations. The U.S. government wanted Native American land for farmland. The U.S. government forced them to leave their ancestral homelands. They had to walk thousands of miles to territory west of the Mississippi River. Estimates suggest that about 100,000 Native Americans were forced from their homes. The numbers were based on tribal and military records. Suffering from starvation and illness, some 15,000 died during the journey, estimates say. So, um... Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Forced relocation means you are forced to leave your home. The government says, we're going to take your land. And they did. And they made them walk thousands of miles. 
That's a lot of people, 100,000 people, especially for the early 1800s. There's still only a few million, maybe 20 or 30 million in the country at the time, not 370 million like there are now. So 100,000 was a lot of people. All right, long ago, act of kindness. An online campaign to raise money for the Native Americans of the Navajo Nation and uh, oh, I'm sorry, let me start over. An online campaign is raising money. See how I got the verb wrong and some, the sentence didn't make sense the first time? An online campaign is raising money for Native Americans of the Navajo Nation and Hopi Reservation. Several gifts were inspired by the long ago act of kindness from Native Americans. The campaign's organizers talked about the gifts from Ireland. Vanessa Tully is an organizer of the campaign. Quote, she says, the death of many people on the Trail of Tears sparked empathy for the Irish people in their time of need, she wrote. She said acts of kindness from ancestors were being paid back nearly 200 years later. Tully thanked Ireland for being there for us. Oh, I guess Vanessa Tully. Wait a second, I just read Tully thanked Ireland for being there for us. So Tully is a Native American. She's one of the organizers of the campaign. So this online campaign is started with the Native Americans. Okay, so let's get back to the reading. As of May 4th, the Navajo Nation in Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah reported 2,474 confirmed coronavirus cases. There are 73 deaths. 28 members of the Hopi tribe had tested positive for COVID-19 at the Hopi Health Care Center in Palaka, Arizona, as of May 4th. Coronavirus is a flu-like illness. It started spreading in December of 2019 and spread around the world. President Donald Trump visited Arizona on May 5th. He announced that the Navajo Nation will receive more than $600 million in aid. He said the Gila River Indian community in Arizona will receive $40 million. A lot to battle the effects of the coronavirus will provide the money. The fundraising campaign has received more than $2.6 million. Wow. The money will be given to the Rural Utah Project Education Fund. It will help buy groceries, water, supplies, and cloth to make masks for high-risk people. Masks are said to slow the spread of the illness. Irish people have donated about half a million dollars so far, organizer Ethel Branch said on May 5th. It's incredible, quote, to see how much people who are so far away care about our community, Branch said. Along with giving money, many contributors shared sweet messages about their gift. Several of them simply said, Ireland remembers. From Ireland, quote, from Ireland, 170 years later, the favor is returned to our Native American brothers and sisters in your moment of hardship, Pat Hayes wrote. The last section is called Long Relationship. The jump in donations to the campaign is the latest sign of a long relationship. Other recent events have shown the ties between the Irish and Native Americans. In 2017, Choctaw leaders traveled to Middleton, Ireland. They attended the showing of a sculpture honoring it. The 1847 gift, BBC reported. BBC stands for British Broadcasting Company. It's the main main outlet for media in Britain, in the United Kingdom. In 2018, Irish leader Leo uh, Varadkar visited tribal lands in Oklahoma. He announced a scholarship program for Choctaw people. It would give them a chance to study in Ireland, said the Irish Times. So... This is an article about kindness in one way, two ways, different peoples were kind to one another, the Native Americans, the Irish, and the Irish to the Native Americans. 